the gods are real Like the Greek gods Like the ones you learned about but weren't paying attention to Well, they don't pay attention to you either Especially if you're their kid The gods have godly things to do Godly places they need to see Godly plans they need to make That don't include me Yeah, the gods are real And they have kids And those kids have issues Issues Daddy doesn't love me and mommy is a god Didn't wanna be a half blood. I didn't ask to be a hero seeking praise. Being a half blood, it's scary. It mostly gets you killed in very nasty ways. I didn't wanna cause trouble, trouble. I'm just a player and more to play. And honestly, I'd totally be fine if I could make it to the next grade, next grade. It wasn't dirty socks or my stepdad. It was danger that I smelled. The day it all went down, the day I got expelled Maybe you don't know what a half-blood is because your life is normal and happy and not constantly in danger But my life? Mm. Let me set this scene We were on this freaky field trip Freaky trip That's when the story should have probably start We were geeking out on ancient Greek at the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art Stopped by all the statues and learned about the gods The runner and my substitute, Mrs. Dodds Hadn't done nothing wrong, was it rude? Had it rebelled On the day it all went down The day I got expelled The Greek gods, almighty titans of earth, sea, and sky But even they were children once, and they didn't have it easy Their father, Kronos, feared the day his children would inherit the earth So what did he do? Anyone? Anyone. He ate them. Oh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Dart. But one child, Zeus, escaped and devised a plan to rescue his brothers and sisters. He tricked Kronos into eating a rock. And what did Kronos do? Anyone? Any student? He vomited them up! <laughs> I didn't really get the story At least it wasn't boring as I'd feared But is it me? Or is Greek mythology not deeply weird? I didn't wanna pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Now I wish I had taken notes But my focus is in question The gods of indigestion cause a groan for our throats Dude, what was that? Uh, nothing my best friend was acting strange At which he so excelled The day it all went down The day I got expelled Why do you have peanut butter in your hair? Ask Nancy Boba Fett, she's a monster! Well, not literally, I don't think She threw a peanut butter sandwich at you? She threw a peanut butter sandwich at you! I stopped it with my head Grover, you are a good friend Aww <laughs> Dude, I'm your only friend Say Jackson. I knew something was up when I heard my name get yelled. The day it all went down, I saw something not in Mrs. Dodds' frown. The day it all got weird, the day I got expelled. Me by the Sphinx. Look, if this is about Nancy Bobovich, she only hates me because I tried to get her to stop wedging the first graders. I have heard much about you, Percy Jackson. Really? That's very dedicated for a substitute. Kicked out of five schools in six years. One might question your parentage. Hey, don't talk about my mom. And your father. That's right. You don't know who he is. <laughs> 
What is this about anyway? Uh, this is Dodds? You have something going on there! What's wrong, Percy? Mr. Brunner, what am I supposed to do with the pen? Sword! Whoa! Mr. Brunner? This is... Dodds? Um, I didn't know what just had happened Was that all a creepy crazy dream? My teacher was a creature then she vanished in the ether with a demon scream The next thing that I knew I was where the attention was held the day it all got real, the day I got expelled? I tried, Percy, but the headmaster stands firm in his decision. You were supposed to stay with the group, and this was your final warning. But it wasn't my fault, it was Mrs. Dodge. She lured me away, she attacked me, and you saw it. Did I? You, and you gave me that pen, only it wasn't a pen, it was a sword, and... What? Percy, we've never had a teacher named Mrs. Dodds. Perhaps it's for the best. This wasn't the place for you. It was only a matter of time before I got kicked out. That's not what I was you going to say. You think I'm trouble just like everyone else? No, but that is to say, I can only accept the best from you, Percy. Someday you'll understand why. I'm truly sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I let you down. Maybe he's right. You never fit in at this school anyway. You're not exactly... Normal. Exactly! <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll see you on the bus. So if you think you are a half blood better get headed to the exits now. Cause folks will think you're lying, better run and don't start crying cause you're monster chow. Stick around and maybe you'll learn from me. This ain't no Odyssey, this is Odyssey So hear me out, if you're so convinced But nobody listens to me, they never listen Nobody listens to me, they never listen to me. It's a show-stopping number, a real show-stopper, a show-stopping number, come on. Something to shock them, to bring them a-crawling, a big-time box office draw. With the press and the glamour, we'll kill the review. Spotlight on Mr. Ranjanu. So fill up your tumbler. Got a show stopping number for you. Professor, please, if they find us, they will kill us. A show stopping number is something you die for. A real catchy earwormy, too. An award winner. Score that seeps in and out of your pores. A ditty to make the chorus go swoon. It'll unify humanity in a thundering chorus. No exits from this Broadway venue. So splash those shiny symbols. Got a show stopping hymnal for you. This song's pretty good, huh? I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Fucking go for it. It's called Workin' Boys, a new musical. It's the story of a group of old college chums. Sure, they found success in the business world. Still, they can't help but long for the simpler times. Back in that beat-up old house at the edge of campus. But those glory days, they're gone for good. Or are they? This here 
is the title number. Business calls, I'm up to my ass in shit. What is this business? Markets are crashing and I'm at the edge of my wits. I just can't take it when all I want to do is spend the day with Greg and Steve and Stu and Mark and Layton and Chad. I answer it. Oh, hey, Greg. I'm swamped with business. Stocks, bonds, golden parachutes. Remember those days on the football field, Greg? Last weekend feels like ages ago. What? Today? After work? On the football field? The old stomping grounds, eh, Greg? Just you, and me, and Steve, and Stu, and Mark, and Layton, and Chad. Five o'clock. I'll see you then, Greg. I'll see you then. All I want to do is spend the day with Steve. Five o'clock can't come soon. Number, a real showstopper, an aria to rule them all. They'll throw us their money at full price admission. The world will come tumbling down. Hamilton, to move over your new competitions in town. Hey, Henry. Greg. Is that really you? Professor, no! That's not Greg! Been a long time. Hey, boys. Wanna toss that pigskin around? Stu, you have an age today! Is it five o'clock already? It must be! Come on, Henry. We got some catching up to do.